Hello everyone! Welcome, welcome to Let's Play The Path. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous, ominous room. The colors, this red, black, ominous, with a very distinct white door. Yes, this is the very first screen of the entire game. Uh, so a little bit of an introduction. I just found out about this game today from Steam's uh, Indie Pack Special. It's on sale right now if you want to grab it. It's part of the Indie Fright Pack. I don't know if this would technically be classified as a horror game. Uh, I did a minimal amount of research into it, just enough to kind of um, uh, provoke my interest. And uh, it's a, as you might have been able to tell, it's, um, it's actually a spin off of the original, uh, the traditional Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale, you know, the evil, dark, twisted one, that one. And that's just uh, really, really interesting to me. I love uh, old, the old style, um, or traditional, classic, uh, whatever you want to call it, fairy tales. I find the fact that they are just horribly twisted and yet they taught it to their young children as life lessons completely fascinating and it didn't, uh, it didn't traumatize them for life or anything. So um, we're going to see if I can get through this game without traumatizing me for life because I'm the biggest scaredy cat you'll ever meet. Uh, probably more so than your three-year-old nephew. I do not play horror genre games, but this just looked way too interesting. I've watched uh, a lot of Let's Plays from horror genres because I just simply can't get through them myself. But um, let's take a look here. It looks like we have six characters to choose from. I'm extremely anal analytical type person, so the first thing that I started doing was analyzing their character just by looking at them. That's right, I judge a book by its cover. So Ginger... Um, Okay, looks like kind of a young girl. She's playing with something. She's got a little punkish style feather in her hair, maybe. Uh, younger looking girl, like small child, playing with a car. Uh, who's Robin? She's wearing the little red riding hood. Then we have Carmen, who looks like maybe the oldest teenager of the group, who looks like maybe she's into fashion and style. Ruby looks like, uh, judging from her clothes, black lipstick, uh, black hair, dark eye makeup, goth punkish maybe kind of girl, Ruby. Scarlet looks like uh, maybe she is the oldest one, but she's holding a phone, so maybe she's into uh, friends and social stuff. And then a very quiet looking, sweet looking girl named Ro Rose. Her name is Rose. Oh, I just love that. And she appears to be petting a bunny. All right, so they're trying to definitely give out a gentle sort of um, like feel for this character. And that's what we've learned just so far from looking at them. One little heads up, guys. My cats destroyed my headset the other day by ripping it apart. And although I can still hear, occasionally it'll just max out my headset volume. And if that happens, I apologize. You might experience some kind of weirdness as I tab out and try to reset it. So let's start with, what do you guys want to do? Um, I'm kind of, I really don't know what to expect at all, but Ginger. Let's go with Ginger. She's got a bottle. Basket, okay. Yeah, I really don't know what to expect at all from this game. Apparently it's supposed to be slow. Might be considered a horror genre, but it's definitely a dark psychological type game, I, I think is what I read. That buzzing is not my computer. Do not adjust your screens or your anything. That's part of the game. Okay, a long road. Yeah. That is a very creepy uh, opening theme. Very pretty. Oh, we do. Okay. Go to grandmother's house. I am so excited and stay on the path. Walk forward. Okay. Oh, I don't have, um... Oh, the controls are a bit... 
turn. Got it. Let go to interact. Okay. There's nothing to interact with it so far. I am so excited, guys. Like, I just... Oh, I feel so all giddy and everything, because I know from reading the little uh, synopsis of this game, we're just going to make sure that everything's set to high, because I have pretty full screen. Joystick ena is enabled. Uh, no. Logic... Whoa, okay. Display everything. Sound, volume... Whoa. Okay, weird stuff is happening. Is that supposed to be... Okay, what? Non-shader characters, normal brightness, autosave, highest distance visibility. Sorry about this, guys. I... Okay, yeah, no, this is right. 1600 by 900. That's good. Alright. This is the first time I've ever loaded this game. So... From what I read, oh, if I hold right click, I can run. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? It was a paw print. I read the synopsis. Basically, we six sisters live together in an apartment. Our mother sends each of us to grandmother's house for an errand. And of course, you're supposed to stay on the path. I can only imagine what they're going to send my way to try to get me to go off the path from curiosity, I would assume. What? It's getting blurry in and out. Whoa, what was that? Did you... I see a paw print. That's why they're... That's how they're trying to get me to go off the path, guys. It won't work. I am... Oh, a bird. Wait, how... Oh, if I just hold... If I hold left click, I walk. I can W to move forward to walk. Hold right click to run. Hi, birdie. Alright, we can do this. And apologies, uh, I also read that this is a a slow game. It's slow. So I'm sorry, I don't know how interesting it'll be for you guys to watch as a Let's Play, but... It just already, I'm intrigued. I can't wait to see what they throw at me. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Look at the forest! It's getting black, guys! Oh god! <laughs> Did I mention that I am the hugest scaredy cat in the history of gaming? I- oh god. I'm gonna get through this, though. I am going to get through this for you guys, my loyal viewers. All three of you! I'm doing this. I might mentally scar myself for life, but I'm gonna do this for you. I- Oh my god, it's almost like as if when you're while you're running, the black is creeping towards you if you just keep running like that. <sighs> I don't play horror games, guys. I really don't. I can't I can't handle it. Oh god, it's a dirty black. <sighs> you guys are probably watching this going, "Oh god, what is wrong with this girl?" And and I am a girl. <laughs> I am a girl, for those of you watching this video for the first time. Is that it? Is this grandmother's house? We managed to go here all the way without getting... Somebody posted on one of my videos and was like, That cameraman sounds kind of gay. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we reached grandmother's house. I mean, that wasn't... Should I have strayed? It said not to stray. Oh, ominous music. Oh god. Oh god. I'm... I'm so... So bad at scary stuff, guys. Alright, keep it together, Rose. Keep it together. Oh. Huh. Okay, well... Weird looking room. Hold on one sec, guys. Oh, also, if I sound a little bit different, it's because my cats did break... Oh, there's a shadow moving behind the window? Or is that just like glitchy st or uh, clip stuff? Well, oh, okay, we're moving. If I sound a little bit different, it's because, oh, I can only, I can only go through here, all right? Where, I can't see. I can't see. Why am I moving? I can't, I, am I going upstairs? Oh, I'm going up some stairs. If I sound a little bit different, it's because I'm having to use a different crappy, very old mic. Oh god, there's a oh, there's a rocking chair, guys. A rocking chair. Okay, apparently I can only go one direct. <sighs> Ominous. Okay, 
the door at the end. Oh my god, guys. Alright, no, let's take a deep breath. There are no monsters here. There are no monsters here. There are no monsters here. There are no monsters. No, I can't go down there? I can't. Okay, I can do this. I'm trying to move forward, okay. There are no monsters in this game. There are no monsters in this game. <gasps> oh god! Mm, there's a wolf! There's a- Jesus! <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good. No, we're good. It's a stuffed animal. It's totally- That is some taxidermy. That is some good taps taxidermy work. Oh wait, it really is. Is it? It looks like it's on a pedestal. I'm looking around slightly. Okay, that's fake. It's totally fake. It's- it's cool. Oh. <laughs> this game will probably be pretty entertaining for you guys to see me freak out every five seconds. Oh, hey, our picture's above them. Aww. Oh, God, Grandmother looks dead. What, what do I do now? <gasps> Her eyes just opened. Okay, that was really creepy. Alright, so I got to her house. What's the big... P click or press... But click or press button or enter key to start again. Items collected. Special rooms unlocked. Distance traveled. Wolf encountered. No. Failure. Failure! Fa but You know where grandmother lives. <sighs> okay. So apparently we're not supposed to stay to the path. I totally had the impression that the entire game was going to be beckoning me off the path. Ginger? Uh... I thought they'd be trying to, like, coax me to come off the path. At least that's... Let's try the little girl. Maybe, maybe I'll feel better if I'm playing as a little girl, because then maybe I'll hope they're not. Alright guys, so we're gonna stray from the path. Oh, she's got a little, little hood. How adorable. And actually, I'm probably going to have to end this here because I've been going on for a while. Alright, see you in the next one.